vibrant, focused and driven. That's how Douglas Rosenberg remembers his father Claude. He was a hard working uh, but fun loving guy. Two years ago, his father died from Alzheimer's disease. Since then, Douglas has lost his stepmother and his stepfather to the same illness. There are a lot of terrible diseases. Um, this happens to be, I think, one of the worst. So Douglas went on a mission to find a new approach in treating Alzheimer's. He found it at the Buck Institute for Research on Aging in Novato. He was so impressed, he decided to donate money, a significant chunk, $3.5 million. If we want to address and find a cure for diseases like Alzheimer's, we have to think outside the box. And you think that's what Dale is doing? I know that's what he's, I know that's what he's doing. He's referring to Dr. Dale Bredesen, a neurologist who has studied Alzheimer's for three decades. He says right now is an exciting time for his work. I've never been so enthusiastic. I've never felt as I have recently that we are actually at the point where we have a new insight. Dr. Bredesen says most Alzheimer's treatments focus on the aftermath when the plaque builds up in the brain. That toxin can act like an acid killing cells. What we now believe is that this disease is very different and one of the reasons we believe that is because as you probably know the the drug trials over the last several years have uniformly failed. Bredesen wants to attack Alzheimer's from the beginning. He believes he has discovered the protein peptide that decides what you will remember and what you will forget. It's a normal part of brain function. So you are actively forgetting the seventh song that played on the radio on the way to work yesterday, and you might be forgetting the sixth song that played on the radio the way to work too. But you're actively remembering where your keys are and what your next assignment is. With Alzheimer's patients, Bredesen says the brain is off balance, skewed toward forgetfulness. The peptide he has identified has two paths. If it is cut into four parts, the memory is lost, something that happens too often in sick patients. But if it is cut into three parts, you can retain the information. He's hoping to find a switching drug that can make sure that peptide is cut in threes so that the balance can be restored. So far, his experiments on mice have been promising. Bredesen hopes people could try this switching drug in a clinical trial in two to three years. He was vibrant and he was full of life. While the cure is far-fetched, for Douglas, that is the hope. It would mean his multi-million dollar donation was not only well spent, but it would help people for generations. To think that we could have played a part in, or that we might play a part in solving uh, the dilemma of a disease like this, well, I, I think, uh, what greater legacy could you, could you leave? If only that work had been completed a few years ago, then it could have helped his own father, Claude, dance a little longer. In Marin County, Grace Lee, CBS 5.